If you want to learn how to download and install Natural Vision Evolve for GTA 5 in 2024, you have come to the right video. I'm going to show you how to download and install this beautiful graphic mod and maybe how to fix any issue you might have along the way. So make sure you stay until the end of the video and comment down below if this video helped you or if you had any issues and we could help you with that. Let's get started with this tutorial. Step number one for downloading and installing Natural Vision Evolve for GTA 5 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install Natural Vision Evolve. Now, this is an in-depth guide on how to install this graphic mod and feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. However, if you just want to follow along the video, go ahead and scroll down once you click on that second link and click on the button that says download. That will redirect you over here to the racemods.com website, which is the official website from the creators of this mod. In here, you're going to click GTA 5, which is right in the bottom left. That will redirect you over here, where you're going to select between Natural Vision Remaster and Natural Vision Evolve. In this case, we're going to be installing the Natural Vision Evolve version. Some people prefer the Remaster, some others prefer the Evolve. Feel free to try both of them or just install the one that we're going to install, which is the Natural Vision Evolve. Go ahead and click on View. And in here, you're going to click Download, which will redirect you over here and in here you're going to click download right here. Now, you might go over here, but sometimes you will also go to a different page. It depends, I don't know why, but it, sometimes you might come to this page in here. As you can see, the second time I clicked it, it brought me over here to this page. So yeah, if you come to this page, click on download right here. If it brings you to this page, click on download right here, okay? Doesn't matter what way it is, just choose download file once you're in the page and that'll begin the download for Natural Vision Evolve as soon as you click on that button now. I already downloaded Natural Vision Evolve as you can see right here. It's an 8.5 gigabyte download and that's why I'm not going to download it again because it is a very, very slow download since how heavy the mod is, the, the graphic mod. It's gonna take 20, 30 minutes depending on your speed of your internet speed. So yeah, once you click download file, the file will start downloading downloading automatically. And once you have that file, I want you to also download OpenIV. We're going to need OpenIV for this. If you have watched my videos in the past and you already have OpenIV installed, then you're going to skip this part. You could go ahead and move forward. However, I'm assuming a lot of you don't have OpenIV and yeah, it's 100% required. We also explained that in our guide, um, on our written guide on how to download and install Natural Vision Evolve, but you're going to need OpenIV. Okay. OpenIV is pretty much going to allow us to mod the game and add things to the game to GTA 5. Click on that third link in the description. If you want to download and install OpenIV, once you're in here, again, our written guide, you could read through the guide and look at the screenshots. However, just go ahead and scroll down and click download. That will redirect you over here to the OpenIV official website. You're going to click download now, OpenIV 4.1, and that will start the download automatically. As you can see, mine is asking me where to save it, but for you, it's going to download right away. And once you have that OV setup.exe, which is the file to install OpenIV, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, or you could leave it in your downloads folder if you prefer it that way. Just have it located as well as that Natural Vision Evolve file. It's a zip file that we downloaded earlier. Now, the next step will vary depending how you want to do this. If you already have some type of zip extractor or some type of zip opener installed on your computer, or if you're using Windows 10, you could open zip files without having to install anything extra. And you could also extract zip files like Natural Vision Evolve without installing anything extra. However, in my case, I always like using WinRAR. And luckily for you guys, we have a guide on how to install WinRAR. WinRAR is going to allow us to open the zip file and not only open the zip file, but it's going to allow us to take the files out of the zip file without having to extract the files. Okay, because when we extract that file, that zip file, we're going to pretty much duplicate the files. And I don't want to duplicate the files because the mod is already nine gigabytes. If I duplicate that, that's 18 gigabytes. And not everybody has 18 gigabytes to spare. So that's why I'm going to install WinRAR, which is going to allow me to open that zip file and get everything I need without having to extract it. I hope that wasn't too confusing. If you don't want to do this step, that's totally optional. However, it takes less than a minute and it makes everything easier. Go ahead and click on that fourth link in the description to install WinRAR. It's super, super simple. You just click on downloading here in our guide. You can read through it, of course. And then once you're over here, you click on WinRAR 6.24 and that will download the file from WinRAR. And all you have to do now it's double click it and install it. Now I already have it installed. All you have to do is click, 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 install, done. And that's it. You already have WinRAR. You could close this folder once it's finished. And now we're ready to keep going with the guide, right? And I actually went ahead and dragged Natural Vision Evolve to the desktop just to make this easier for you guys, okay? In order to install OpenIV, all we have to do is double click on the OV setup.exe. That will open this menu right in here where you're going to click continue. And you're going to wait for OpenIV to install. Click that you accept the terms. Now, if you don't have DirectX, it's going to ask you to install DirectX. I'm assuming a lot of you already have DirectX. However, if you don't have it, you're going to need to install it. 
because it is required for Natural Vision Evolved to run. It is required for games like GTA 5 to run. So I'm assuming a lot of you already have it and you don't even know you have it, right? So once OpenAV finished installing, go ahead and click on close and we could even delete the installer now. What we're gonna do next is launch our OpenIV. Go ahead and double click on OpenIV. And again, we have a video in this channel and guides on the website on how to install OpenIV properly if you're having any issues, right? If you had any issues through the installation, you could go watch that video next. Once you open OpenIV, go ahead and click on Windows for GTA 5. And then you're gonna have to find your GTA 5 location. I'm gonna leave some default locations on the first pinned comment as well as on the description of this video. However, let's say that you install GTA 5 through Epic Games. You could always launch your Epic Games launcher, find your GTA 5 games, click on these little three dots in here, click on manage and then select this little folder right here and then just copy this line in here which is the address of GTA 5, it's your location of GTA 5. You can minimize Epic Games again and you go back here to open IV, you click on browse and you paste that address right here on the address bar and you click select folder and it will find the game. If you did it through Steam, if you install GTA through Steam, you could do the same thing through Steam. If you install it through Rockstar, then you have to find it in your computer, whatever you install the game. I'm gonna leave some default locations again in the description of this video as well as on the first pinned comment to help you guys figure it out. Once you get the green text right here, click on continue and just give it a second, click continue again. And now just wait for OpenIV to open. It shouldn't take that long. It's just very fine that you have the official GTA 5 game, that everything is working. Actually, it already opened, which is great. We could already go ahead and open our zip file using WinRAR. Like I said, if you don't have WinRAR, you could always just right click and extract it but I'm gonna use WinRAR, so I'm gonna click open with, I'm gonna select WinRAR, which is gonna open it like this, which is super, super easy to use now. We're gonna put everything side by side, the way I have it, uh, which is gonna make it all easier to work with. And we're going to click the ASI manager in here, and we're actually going to install everything that is in here, the ASI loader, the OpenIV.ASI, and the open camera. We're gonna install these three, I already have them installed, but most of you won't have it installed. You just click install on each of these buttons and it's super quick and it installs. Then we could close this. And the next step, once we have the Natural Vision Evolve folder open, as well as the OpenIV, is to click on edit mode, allow the edit mode to run, and we're going to drag and drop Natural Vision Installer part one into the OpenIV. Uh, give it a second if you're using WinRAR, which that's why I said I prefer to use WinRAR, because if you're not using WinRAR and you're trying to do this through Windows 11, it won't let you drag and drop things from a zip file. You will have to extract. That's why I'm using WinRAR. Once it opens in here, you're going to click install, you're going to click mods, you're going to click install again in here, and that is going to begin the installation. Once the installation finishes, you could just go ahead and close that, this little screen right here. It's just gonna say the installation has finished and you just click on close. I already have part one installed, so I'm not installing it. After part one has finished installing, you're going to click on edit mode again to allow it one more time, click yes. And now you're going to drop part two. Go ahead and drag and drop part two. It's gonna be the same process as we did with part one. Again, this is why I love having WinRAR because it allows me to drag and drop things from here without having to get everything out of this folder and then dragging and dropping it into OpenIV, which is pretty much just taking up space on my computer for no reason. Once this opens up, part two, same process as the first one, click on install, click on mods, click install again. Well, I already have it installed and I click install again, which was a mistake by my part. Now we're gonna have to go through the installation, but that's great. So you guys could see how to install this. It's not really complicated. So there we go, it was pretty quick actually. Once it installs, just click on close. It was the same process for the first one. Once it installs, just click on close. Now what we're going to do is open this reshade shaders right here, this little folder in here. We're gonna open that up. We're gonna drag and drop reshade it into here. Just go ahead and actually allow the edit mode again one more time and then drag and drop all these files into here, just drag and drop it into there. And now we're pretty much done installing Natural Vision Evolve. However, we do have optional add-ons in here and there is a couple nice ones in here. Like for example, the volumetric headlights is pretty nice, the extra vegetation, the high quality reflections. However, high quality reflections, I do have to say, it's a bit heavy on your computer, but if you wanna install any of these, all you have to do is drag and drop the install file into OpenIV and again the same way that we install everything earlier we're gonna just go through the install process in here some of these files you won't be able to allow them into your mods folder so you're just gonna install it directly to the game folder and some of these mods do require you to have other mods to install uh, this is like I said totally optional another nice one here is a white street light you could add that one in here again you always have to turn on edit modes or if not it's not going to let you install anything and like I said this is totally optional you don't have to install all of them every time that you have the mods option you select the mods option for the install folder if not you're gonna have to install it to the game and before i see a bunch of comments in the comment section does this work online does this work on gta online 
No, shaders are for GTA offline. This is for single player. This is for the story mode. And I'm pretty sure there's consequences for using shaders online without having the permission of the server owner. Also, we're already done installing Natural Vision. We're gonna go ahead and test it out. You could go ahead and close everything and you could go ahead and launch your GTA game. And just like I was saying, without permission of a GTA 5 server owner, you won't be allowed to use shaders online because you might get banned. However, you could always make your own server using the first link in the description. You can make your first server with SAP hosting to be able to have your own GTA 5 server online and be able to do whatever you want because this will be your whole server. This is a 5M server. However, you could change the service in here. You could do whatever type of server you want for GTA. If you use that first link in the description, you'll be supporting the channel. That's for those of you that want to use the graphics online. Now, I'm playing the first mission here, but you could already tell that this game looks way better. I mean, just look how beautiful the colors look. And if we press the insert key, we see that we have this natural vision menu here where we could go and control a couple things. Like, for example, I like to give it the color boost filter. By default, it would look something like this, right? The game looks like that. But if we put the color boost filter on, it looks way better. Like, the colors just get more saturated. And I'm probably going to lose this mission. <laughs> see, I installed Windows 11 and I lost my save of the game. Like, I was pretty... Really advanced. I had done a bunch of missions, but now I'm here stuck at the beginning and I don't feel like <laughs> I don't feel like doing everything all over again. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much how to install natural vision. If you wait for nighttime, this game looks way better at nighttime like that. I think that's when the graphics mod really shine when it's nighttime or when it's a rainy uh, weather. If in your rainy weather, you see all the reflections, you see the water looks amazing and we don't have a script hook installed, so we can't really mess too much with this. But if you want to learn how to install script hook that's probably a video that i'm gonna do in the future make sure to subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you were able to install natural vision evolve anyways as always bye bye